This is a technique paper on the arthroscopic treatment of a medial femoral knee osteochondral defect using subchondroplasty and car gel by Kelsey Holt and doctors Mark Sarando, Kathy Cody, and Ivan Wong. The authors have nothing to disclose for this technique article. The patient is positioned supine with the right foot placed into a spider knee holder. Routine lateral portal is used for diagnostic knee arthroscopy. The OCD lesion was identified with the probe to be loose and unstable and was removed with a grasper. The defect measured 3 by 2 centimeters. The medial portal size is increased with a scalpel for removal of the OCD defect. The OCD defect is removed using graspers. This lesion was measured to be 3 by 2 centimeters. A curette is used to remove the remaining flap of cartilage to healthy, stable margins. Based on preoperative CT images and a 3D printed model, a cannulated drill was used to drill to the subchondral cyst and marrow changes and confirmed with fluoroscopic images. The knee was left in full extension with the subchondroplasty drill entering the medial femoral condyle and the scope in the lateral portal. The subchondroplasty calcium phosphate mixture is prepared on the back table and 5 milliliters is injected in the area under fluoroscopic guidance. The scope is kept in the knee to ensure there is no leakage inside the joint. A passport cannula is inserted into the medial portal to keep soft tissue away from the area and for drainage in preparation for car gel application. A curette is used to remove the calcific layer of subchondral bone. The curette is then switched to the lateral portal to have a better angle to remove the remaining portions of the calcific layer. Microfracture holes are drilled into the bone 2 to 3 millimeters apart using a pivot phoenix microfracture drill starting from the lateral portal. The yellow colored marrow can be seen coming out with each new hole drilled. The Phoenix drill is switched to the medial portal to gain better angles for completing microfracture holes in the remaining defect. A shaver is used to drain fluid from the knee. Neurostrips are then used to completely dry the lesion. A separate percutaneous needle is placed through the patella tendon into the lateral notch and placed on suction to keep all fluid out of the joint. The defect size is measured using a probe and found to be 20 by 30 by 6 millimeters. This is the view of the orientation of the patient's right knee in preparation for car gel application. The knee is flexed 45 degrees while the hip is flexed 45 degrees and abducted 20 degrees with 30 degrees of external rotation to allow the defect to be as horizontal as possible. A 16 gauge needle containing the car gel mixture is inserted into the medial passport cannula. It is applied in a stepwise approach, drop by drop, to recreate the three dimensional structure of the defect. All five milliliters of car gel was used to recreate the defect in its entirety. After waiting 10 minutes for the car gel to dry, range of motion is assessed by cycling, bending, and flexing the knee. This final view of the car gel shows that it remained intact throughout these movements.